Students in Dr. Salatiga's biogeography course spent their fall 22 semester gaining a wide range of skills, both inside and outside the classroom, while also completing important collaborative field work. Two goals were set for this class. First, to examine patterns in the biosphere through various methods, and second, to understand past environments in the context of rapid human-induced environmental change. This course worked in collaboration with the New River Gorge National Park Service to examine the forest along Burnwood Trail in Fayetteville, West Virginia, to determine whether it can be considered an old growth forest based off of data collected in the field. The National Park Service is working towards improving methods to preserve old growth forests, and having the students aid with this project has had a positive impact on this effort. It's, um young folks doing research in our parks, which we're really grateful for and excited about. This is, this is the way that um, not only does it give folks an opportunity to learn a little bit about how some of the, how forest management is, is, uh, is done through this monitoring aspect, but it um, helps the park in terms of putting more researchers out there for us to, to rely on and lean on and and help us be better manage the parks, actually. Not only were students able to learn about old growth forest characteristics, but they were able to practice field methods and see them firsthand. A few of the tasks the students had to complete included identifying different species of trees, recording diameter at breast height, learning how to plot the forest, coring trees to examine in lab, recording data, and learning how to microplot the site the class was able to gain a wide range of skills. There were three sites along Burnwood Trail that the class visited. With help from the National Park Service and Dr. Salatica, the students collected all data required and then brought it back to Concord University's Environmental Geography Lab to be analyzed. In the lab, the students learned how to identify the age of trees by tree ring analysis and was able to complete a technical report that the National Park Service will publish in the future. With this, students were able to create a story map on ArcGIS Online and present their findings to the class. The students are now able to take what they learned from this course and apply their skills to other projects and courses in the future, while knowing that the work done throughout this semester will be useful for the National Park Service. One student was willing to share his experience with me. You know, old growth forests aren't really that common, especially in the eastern United States, so um, it's definitely important if we can determine that it is an old growth forest, it'd be very uh, helpful. Um, you know, that way the National Park can be sure to preserve this in, um, for future generations um, uh, to come. Overall, the students enjoyed getting to learn in a hands-on way, while also having an impact on the National Park Service and their future regarding old growth forests.